Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. According to a royal author, the former Duchess of Cambridge was deemed unfit for the position of future queen. In a magnificent wedding ceremony held at Westminster Abbey in April 2011, Kate, Princess of Wales, married Prince William, and became a member of the royal family. She has now grown to be a well-known and adored figure within the firm, and she and her husband are frequently referred to be the future of the monarchy. A senior royal, according to a royal author, reportedly had doubts about the Princess of Berkshire, mostly because of her lack of noble status. King, the life of Charles III author, Christopher Anderson, claims that Kate had to work particularly hard to establish herself within the royal family since Queen Camilla had her doubts. This month, he spoke with Kinsey Schofield, the host of the Today for Daily podcast, and said Camilla, at the very beginning, was not impressed by Kate. She had to put in a lot of effort to show her suitability for the position. Mr. Anderson has previously discussed Camilla's worries regarding William's former girlfriend. He said to Podcast Royal earlier this month, Camilla is a royal, despite her earthiness and love of the country life, fox hunting, and gardening. She has an arrogant attitude. He said that historically, people with noble ancestry married into the royal family, the biographer said, and Kate Middleton, She's a true commoner. Kate was not the kind of person that would have been fit in Camilla's eyes for a future queen. She was descended from coal miners, her mother lived in public housing, and they lived in public accommodation when her mother was a flight attendant. So, at one time, she said in Charles' ear, perhaps he should recommend to William that either you break up or propose. Following their high-profile breakup in 2007, six years into their relationship, Kate and William's generally low-key courtship was pushed into the limelight. The prince was stationed with the household cavalry in Dorset at the time, and Kate was residing in London. Because of the distance between them, the young couple frequently spent time apart. I was in London at the time, and Kate and William had obviously been dating for a long time, according to Mr. Anderson. Everyone was waiting for them to announce their engagement when suddenly they broke up without anyone being able to explain why. The biographer suggested to the Daily Beast in 2016 that William's stepmother might have been the main cause of the breakup. People started telling me that Camilla was behind it, he added. She is an aristocracy who has long been associated with royalty, according to Mr. Anderson. Her great-grandmother Alice Keppel served as the mistress of Edward VII, and she had always imagined herself as the heir to her estate. She boasted about that link both as a child and an adult, and that was what she wanted to be, a member of the royal circle serving as the future king's mistress before becoming the king. She didn't consider Kate to be someone deserving of being a member of the royal family. Kate is the first member of the working class to join the royal family. For all of these reasons, Kate Middleton and the Middleton family as a whole were never considered by Camilla to be deserving of joining the royal family. The princess has done a fantastic job of establishing herself as a potential queen, saying, Kate is fabulous. She is the most qualified member of the family for the position, and when the time comes, I believe she will do truly admirably. Furthermore, it is acknowledged that since the queen consort's early doubts, Kate and Camilla's relationship has advanced significantly. The then Duchess of Cornwall made public her fun connection with her daughter-in-law in July after selecting her to be the photographer for her 75th birthday country life photo shoot. The two duchesses' bond is said to have gotten stronger and stronger over the previous 10 years. So what do you think about this news, guys? What do you think about Kate Middleton's growth as a royal? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.